music is written uh, most of the time for a certain purpose. When I'm going to write a piece, I talk with the performers about what kind of a piece is uh, needed in the repertoire. What kind of a piece would you like, would you be interested in seeing? What kind? Cool, let's um, let me go back, you guys, to 2026. 20, that's right before the food entrance. <laughs> Concert music, that's what I like to call what I write. You know, concert music is written to be heard at concerts. It's the kind of thing that uh, you really should listen to carefully in order to get a good appreciation for it. And I tend to want to write something that, that absorbs you. It, it's a lot, I think, like writing um, a play or a novel or a poem. You sort of get an, an idea for the overall nature of it. And then you begin to formulate uh, major parts uh, and uh, then begin to start writing it out. Uh, and you change your mind a lot as you do this. But basically, uh, I don't ever uh, have an idea come into my head and I say, now what would that be good for? What I think is, I'm going to write a piece for solo bassoon, so let me see if I can write something that, uh, you know, think of something that would be appropriate. Remember we talked about the Bach Gavotte? Uh, and I find gavotte that when you get done just imagining something, you music think music it's music terrific. Music. And then after some time passes, okay. you don't feel so you excited like about it. Uh, what I tell my students is it's sort of like that first uh, date where your person you're, you're, you're with you think is just amazingly so wonderful. And then after six uh, months, the park, you begin right? to see that there are some little faults. <laughs> so it happens a little faster in music than that. But, but basically, I, I like to uh, work on ideas for several weeks before I actually try and develop them fully into a piece of music. There's a difference in the, the technique for, for the instruments, and so you learn what that is. And uh, the most important thing for writing for different groups is either someone wants you to do it or you want to do it. I do find that I am very inspired by setting text. We had purchased a couple of uh, collections of love letters which were you know, very nicely arranged. I got the idea that, hey, some of these you know, might make good songs. And uh, I selected 10 that I would uh, set. One of my favorite ones was by Bert Fielder, who was a sergeant in World War I, and he was in the, the trenches. And so then he talks about what it's like to be at the front. And it seems really sad, but he's not depressed. This is just the way things are. Then he says, but cheer up. This will all be over soon, and we'll be back together. And that's so poignant because he was killed a couple years later. Ringo Starr, who has not had a crush on a movie star or some sort of musician? And here's a little probably 13-year-old girl writing to Ringo saying, send me anything. Send me anything, I'll treasure it forever. A piece of old toast Or a piece of from your toothbrush I would treasure it forever
that's that was that was cool. Personality traits of a, of a true composer are much like those of any other artist. The desire to create something. You, you get some satisfaction out of making something that works well. You can get satisfaction out of making things that don't work well too. That's okay, but you know, I, it, it's, you really feel proud if you, if you can finish something that, that you really think represents the best effort you can have and it works and it's nice and other people like it.